Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel. It's go funny lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. I've been away, I was so caught up with school work, but I'm back. Hopefully, this time I'll manage to post each and every day. So yeah, keep your suggestions coming. Just feel free to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Drop the name or the link down below and I'll react to exactly what you want. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Also become friends with us, you know, you can share anything that you want with us in the DMs. Check out our second YouTube channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we'll be putting out. So today I'm going to be reacting to a nine-year-old Christian boy asks a very difficult a very difficult question to Dr. Zaki Naik. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. My name is David. I'm studying in sixth standard. My question is why non-Muslim children are not allowing in your school to join? They can learn Arabic and become Muslims also. They can learn Arabic and become Muslims also. Alhamdulillah. Young brother David, age nine years old, asking the question, why are non-Muslim children not allowed to enter your school so that they can learn Arabic and they can accept Islam? Brother asked a very difficult question to me. I'm one of the most difficult questions. <laughs> brother, our school, Islamic International School, it's a school that is mainly talking about the formal education and Islamic education. We don't want to make our school as a conversion center because children are entering at a very small age. We don't want people to say that it's like enrolling people of six years old and nine years old and forcing them to accept Islam. What we would like to say that if your parents are convinced about the faith of this religion and if they want to put you in this school, we have no problem. But a child himself comes. May Allah give you hidayah, I can pray. I cannot say that a child cannot accept Islam. It's wrong. He can. But what I would like to say, that if your parents come and have the right to follow the rules and regulation of the school, then we have no problem in accepting you. So ask your parents to come to our school and the rules and regulations that are there. There are many rules and regulations. As long as they do not mind following the rules and regulations, attending our lectures, Leading the Quran, you want to learn Arabic, you want to accept, there's no problem. See to it that because they have to follow the law of the country also. Ask your parents, let them come, let them interact with the management. And if they agree with the rules and regulations, inshallah, inshallah, I'm sure there will not be any problem, especially you, brother, because they've asked the question. To get in the school is difficult. To get into Islamic International School is one of the most difficult. But inshallah, because they have asked the question, ask your parents to meet Brother Zakir. And inshallah, if they agree to follow the rules and regulations, admission will be very easy, inshallah. For you, inshallah. Hope that answers the question. I'm sure they're just trying to protect their own by not allowing outsiders to enter. But sometimes outsiders are actually admiring how... Um, Muslim children are being brought up and they want that for their children you know I don't think it should be on a basis of you're not a practicing Muslim but if people can accept the rules of the school and how things are going to go I think people should be allowed to be part of that school otherwise this was a very very good question you know and I'm sure um, you know, sometimes when you bring in an outsider, they come with their own background of knowledge and that can confuse your people. So uh, by keeping outside, uh, outsiders out, I think it's, it's, it's really not a bad thing. It's really not. And uh, I'm sure many people are admiring from the outside um, what these other children are doing. But otherwise, let me know what you guys actually think about this video. Do you think outside, outsiders should be let into the school? Or do you think people should convert before they are part of the school? What are your thoughts on that? Otherwise, I say, well, come those that are not going to corrupt your children. And yeah, let them get the education that is being provided there. 
let me know what you think please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video